we've got our hardware screen. We've built up one of the uh, trommel sections. Now we need to build up the other section and attach the two together. So right at the moment, we need to measure out. We figure it's right around uh, 66 and 3 quarters inches of length or 170 centimeters. We're going to add just a couple of inches, about 5 centimeters, to the length of that as an overlap on the screen. So let's get uh, measuring and cutting and do that. Have a little wire that goes around to hold the uh, bundle together. Got a mark here, which you can't even see. Uh, this line is uh, 68, which is where I think I'll cut this. I have a little fold over at that end, which uh, should give me that a little bit of that extra. I do want to cut a little long in either case. Overlapping is not a big deal. Using a pair of tin snips to uh, make the cuts. And just following along the line between two sections. Alright, we have our section cut. We want to uh, fold over a small section of the uh, screen here by uh, folding over about this much. All these little sharp pointed edges are kind of hidden away. Uh, same thing that the manufacturer did when they uh, rolled up the roll. Doesn't have to be pressed down real tight, just a little something. I'll grab that wire and we'll shove that back under there. So the wire. Attaching it through some of the loops. And it just winds around. And then, same thing here at the bottom once we're around. Just going through a couple of the wires and attaching it in there. Okay. That can be put away in storage until we need some more. So with the uh, rest of the build, I'm going to uncrinkle the uh, overlap here. And we'll take this and we'll just set it right inside. Looks like we have about 
four inches of overlap. Maybe a little more. So, now to get to zip tying everything. I just have a bunch of these zip ties that uh, were left over for, uh, from another project. I'm just using up what I can. And I'm taking two zip ties, inserting them together. So we have one longer zip tie made out of two. The way that the uh, rim lines up, uh, the two holes for the spokes are just offset a little bit. So I want to be a little bit away from the uh, start of the overlap. And I'm going to go from the inside. should be the, uh, for me, it's the second and third row is where they fit in. So I loop through the one side and then back through on the next one. Okay, now that we have one in, I'm going to go ahead and flip the whole thing over. And hope that I get, can get this in right. I'm flipping it over because it's far easier to uh, thread these through in an upright position. I'm gonna put in another temporary tie over here just to hold things so I'm not fighting the wheel the whole time. set something down and go, where did I put it? I'm playing the where did I put it? Put it right under where I'm sitting. All right, here we go. Tighten up the one and then the other. At least that's what I'm doing. I find that even myself, after having watched some of the videos on how to build these, I really needed to watch uh, to do this by myself, put my hands on the material. To really understand, okay, where where does this fit in? Some of the other uh, designs I've seen, designs builds. Uh, what I've noticed is a lot of people leave a little bit of the screen out. Um, I, that may have been a good idea. Uh, 
I kind of wanted the extra length, so I went with that uh, to try and get the least amount of overlap that I possibly could. Of course, I have no idea if I'm even going to keep the audio on this, because who really wants to listen to me ramble while I slowly build something? You'd much rather watch a montage. Just speed right through the process. Of course, there's something about watching things in real time that's relaxing. Or watching them near real time. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube at uh, double speed. It gets a little hard to understand people, so I usually turn the subtitles on with that. But there is something about watching a build at near real time. It gives you a sense of how long am I really going to spend doing this? Do I really want to invest that time or do I want to do something else? And you watch some of these channels and they speed through everything and everything is one build, one video, the whole thing. And that could partly be because of how YouTube works. Could possibly be just a carryover from the days when you could only upload a 10 minute video. That's why well, that's temporary. So this temporary one that I put in is creating a little bit of a gap at this section. Uh, it's probably off by only two or three holes, but it's enough that it creates a little bit of a problem. Uh, fortunately, it's temporary. Plan it to be temporary. Okay, here we are at the overlap. So what I have to do is make sure that the top row here and the top row of the back overlap match up. And the other thing I want to do is make sure that I'm flat as I pull this across. We're kind of lining up the verticals as well. If you're uh, an 
opening up off, you'll put the whole screen section out of round. And then that will create a whole litany of problems down the road. Not that I've personally experienced it, I've just seen a lot of other people's builds as I plan to build this. And they, there's a lot of little things that people skip out on. All right, one last section. And we've got this rim completed. And then we just need to attach it to the other section there. Similar process. All done with that side. Now attaching the other next section of the trommel is going to be tricky. As I have the uh, zip ties from the first connection in place, 